Facts First presents Coins You Need to Watch Out For – They Could Make You a Millionaire We always feel rich when you click that like button, and also be sure to subscribe and, if you've not already done so, click that notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. As more and more people rely on their debit and credit cards, they carry cash less often. That includes carrying coins. Before you put your spare change in a jar and forget about it forever, you should know that the change that you have could be worth a lot more than you think. There are certain coins you need to watch out for that could make you a millionaire. Number 1. The 1894 S. Barber Dime Currently, there are only nine of these dimes in existence. Because of this, they are worth millions of dollars. In 2016, a collector paid $2 million to a lucky individual who had one in their possession. Imagine thinking that you have a coin worth 10 cents in your pocket, only to find it's worth $2 million. Number 2. The 1913 Liberty Head Nickel If you have nickels in your change jar, take a look at them. If your nickels look vintage, as though they're from the 19th or 20th century, take a closer look. If there is a face on the nickel, you could be a few thousand dollars richer. If you take your nickel to an appraiser only to find that you're in possession of either a Liberty Head, a Shield, or a Buffalo nickel, you can sell that nickel to a collector. Who wouldn't love to add a few thousand dollars to their bank account? Number 3. The 1943 Lincoln Head Copper Penny In the 40s, the United States Mint made pennies from steel and then coated them with zinc. They also created special edition pennies from copper. When people started to learn the worth of these pennies, they started making fake ones. The fake pennies are worth less than a cent. However, if you are lucky enough to find an authentic one, it could make you $10,000 richer. Number 4. The 1955 Double Dye Penny This penny was created due to an error during the minting process in 1955. The words on the penny have double lettering. When they first came out, the pennies were only worth one cent. Today, though, that penny is worth $1,800. Number 5. The 1970 S-Proof Washington Quarter This isn't your typical quarter. If you find an S on the head side of the quarter, it means that it was made in San Francisco. If you see 1941 printed on the tail side and it's upside down right above the word dollar, you're in luck. These rare coins have sold for as much as $35,000. Number 6. 1992 Close AM Penny If you find a penny that was minted in 1992 and the A and the M in the word America are so close that they almost touch, you have a rare penny. In 2012, someone sold one of these pennies at auction for $20,000 and apparently there are only 15 of them in existence. Number 7. The 2004 Wisconsin State Quarter In 2004, the state of Wisconsin minted millions of quarters. Some of these quarters, though, ended up with an extra corn husk on the tail side. It's been reported that a few thousand of them ended up that way. These special quarters have sold for up to $1,400. Number 8. The 2005 In God We Rust Kansas State Quarter When the 2005 Kansas State Quarter was minted, grease built up in the coin die, and that caused the letter T to be more faded than the other letters, making it look like an R. Due to the error, that coin is worth hundreds of dollars. Number 9. The 2005 Speared Bison Jefferson Nickel in 2005, a few of these nickels were minted with what looks like a long spear through the abdomen. If you have one of these nickels, it could be worth over $1,000. Number 10. The 2007 Godless Presidential Coin U.S. coins have the words In God We Trust printed on them. All U.S. coins. In 2007, though, there were some coins minted that didn't have that phrase printed on them at all. If you find a coin without that famous phrase on it, it could be worth hundreds, possibly thousands of dollars. Number 11. The Ben Franklin Half Dollar In the late 40s, half dollars were printed with either a picture of Ben Franklin or an eagle. 
When John F. Kennedy was assassinated, the coins were replaced with half dollars to honor his memory. While the coin is not worth as much as many on this list, you can still get about a hundred bucks for it. Number 12. The 1982 No P Mint Mark Roosevelt Dime When coins are minted, a letter is added to tell where it was made. In 1982, the Philadelphia Mint forgot to add the letter P on many of their coins. Since they realized the problem quickly, not very many were made with the error. If you have one of those dimes, though, it could be worth up to $300. Number 13. The 1804 Draped Bust Silver Dollar Class I If you have any coins from the 19th century, take a look at them. In fact, have an expert do so. An 1804 Silver Dollar sold at auction for $3.7 million. Another was sold for $4.14 million. There are only 15 of these coins in existence, and two have already been found and sold. Number 14. The 1907 St. Gaudens Double Eagle Years ago, there were $20 coins. A U.S. Mint chief engraver named Charles Barber decided to remove the words In God We Trust from the coin because it made it too crowded and complicated. If you have one of those coins, it can be worth up to $7 million. Number 15 wheat pennies. Owning a wheat penny won't make you a millionaire. However, they are worth money. Certain wheat pennies are worth hundreds of dollars depending on the year. The 1891S is worth $430. The 1911S is worth $340. The 1914S is worth $670. The 1914D is worth $4,268. The 1915S wheat penny is worth $320. The 1924S, somewhere between $450 to $485. And the 1927 wheat penny could be worth $345. Check your change jars and see what you have. It'd definitely be worth the time. Subscribe for more!